Hi everyone, this is Les with Team PyTorch, and today we're going to go over uh, fine-tuning models within FSTP. So to get started, we've got some code to show you. Uh, as usual, uh, running nightly, so this is July 21st, just for reference. Um, so main item to, to go over today is uh, fine-tuning with FSTP. Uh, so the current issue with FSTP is due to the sharding. Uh, it actually does not support uh, one of the traditional approaches of fine-tuning, which is layer freezing. Uh, so again, that has to do with the... Um, Sharding that's implemented that may be uh, something that's available in the future. Uh, so, but for now, uh, you have two options. Uh, one being whole model fine tuning, of course, and the second one that I would definitely recommend you check out, uh, especially for large language models, is what's known as child tuning. Um, so, of course, you may say, "What is child tuning?" So, it was developed in this paper from September 21, 2021. Uh, it's called "Raise the Child in Large Language Model Towards Effective and Generalizable Fine Tuning." This is a screenshot of the uh, front page of it. More importantly, uh, if you look at this, is just an excerpt of some of the results. They very, very consistently beat out uh, vanilla fine tuning on a broad variety of tasks. So that was. Uh, what made it quite interesting. Um, I personally worked with it for the T5 uh, model and had very good success with it. Uh, so hence this tutorial. Um, there are two versions of the child tuning. One is known as task free and the other one is called task dependent. Uh, I compared both at least for the, the work that I was doing. I had more success with the task free and that's what we're going to cover today. Uh, specifically. So to give you a quick uh, summary of how it works uh, during the backwards pass uh, a certain uh, you'll create a mask uh, based on a Bernoulli distribution and that will mask out a subset of the parameters and only those will be updated. The other thing that will happen is the ones that are updated, uh, their gradients will be magnified proportionally. So the net effect is um, it provides a lot more uh, robustness to the model training and better generalizability. So I wanted to just show you uh, very quickly kind of how that works. <laughs> Excuse me. So what I've set up here is just to pretend we've got a little three by three gradients and the one hyperparameter that you'll work with is what's called the reserve percentage and that's basically the amount of parameters, in this case 30% of the parameters of the whole model that will be uh, chosen to be updated. And so this is one hyperparameter. Generally one third is a very good starting point for reference. Uh, so with this we've got our gradient, our pretend gradient tensor here uh, and at that point We'll create a duplicate and we're going to fill that with the reserve percentage which will look like this so we've got 0.33 uh, we've got our Bernoulli sampler and we'll get a, get that set up and then we'll sample from that and what will end up is this boolean mask basically that would mask out uh, the different gradients that are available so in this case only four of them will actually be updated and then we have the amplification effect i mentioned which is in this case one over 0.3 so everything's going to be uh, basically tripled and at that point, you simply take the gradients and magnify the with the amplifier, and you'll end up with your new gradient um, mask. And so that's basically how that works. Uh, this is the actual code within the optimizer itself. Uh, and what I've added to the uh, tutorial here um, is the optimizer. And as you can see, right here, if we are running task-free mode, then it's basically going to do exactly that, mask out the subset. Uh, amplify the gradients and then apply those. Um, so that's how that works. So as I mentioned, there's uh, two different versions of child tuning. There's task-free and task-dependent. Um, just for reference, in task-dependent, what you basically do is you will train one epoch, you will create a Fisher information matrix, and that will basically monitor what parameters are being activated uh, most strongly or um, during the uh, initial epoch, and then it will use that to create the gradient mask. So that's really the difference is how you create that gradient mask. Um, so again, um, in the paper, they actually had better results with the task dependent. Uh, in terms of my real world uh, work, I actually had better luck with the task free and, and hence why I'm kind of mostly focusing here on task free. Um, so basic uh, use case here would be to import uh, the optimizer. And again, it's basically just Adam W, but with the child tuning uh, aspect added to it. I created a little baby model here. Um, you would uh, take your FSTP imports as usual. You would initialize your model as usual, and then from there uh, set up your optimizer, which in this case, instead of Adam W, uh, would be child tuning Adam W. Uh, everything's the same, you know, model of parameters, learning rate, uh, you can weight decay, uh, EPS, et cetera, if you want to modify those. But the main two uh, additions to it is the reserve factor, as I mentioned, uh, or reserve probability, and then of course the mode, in this case, uh, task free. So um, it, it's a 
I've had very good success with it. Uh, it does provide, if you think about it intuitively, a finer grained uh, tuning. If, if you imagine in terms of freezing layers, it's a very hard checkpoint. The differential between one layer uh, is completely frozen and the next layer is completely open. Uh, this is both horizontally and vertically uh, exposing a subset and allowing that to be um, updated for the fine tuning. So. Um, the other thing to note is if you were to create uh, reserve percentage 1.0, at that point you have whole model fine tuning, it'll be no difference in running at a W or proper. Uh, I have had good luck with 30-35% uh, as a good uh, reference for hyperparameter on this, um, but you can obviously compare on your specific task. Other thing of note is that you will, if you say just run two epochs of whole model fine tuning, two epochs of child tuning and compare, that's not a great idea because what will happen is, is almost certainly initially the child tuning will lag a bit behind uh, just by virtue of only a subset of the weights being updated to begin with. Uh, more importantly is where you end up and, and can vary consistently. Uh, once you run a few more epochs, you'll see child tuning uh, accelerate and uh, take off from there and exceed your results uh, with the uh, normal whole model fine tuning. So uh, the optimizer is out there. Uh, and of course, this uh, code is available for you to reference. Um, but uh, as I said, um, this will give you another option besides whole model fine tuning for FSDP. Hope that helps.